So because coronavirus has made us all do some crazy things, we thought to do some more crazy things today and do our own polar bear swim. Woo! So yeah. Three, two, one. <gasps> <laughs> it's quite cold. Oh. 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 Where's your strength, man? Oh. My brain. What's up? It's quarter to six. Just been doing some graft here. It's been good. It's been a good day. Um, it's uh, the productivity has fallen off a ledge. Kyla's in here as well, trying to be productive for a change. It's really nice. Hi, I do work. Also, I'm a beautiful sunset out there. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. Let's get into the vlog. Good morning. It's like two degrees outside. <sighs> There's frost on the ground. I got a blanket and I got an amplifiers test that's about to happen, actually. Um, yeah, it's got a gonna be okay it's on timers oh look at that lovely beautiful you can't really see the frost but it's there anyway my amplifiers test now is on 555 timers and mono stable and a stable multi vibrators as well as triangular wave generators and sawtooth wave generators and then just some different oscillators like the Hartley and Colpitts oscillators so yeah it's gonna be okay it's only an hour's test and we're also gonna to have to simulate something during the test so yeah I did really badly in the last one so hopefully I do better in this one but uh, let's get cracking good morning I'm busy trying to fly the crew dragon capsule to the International Space Station SpaceX has got a really cool uh, simulation on their website of the docking maneuver even though it's done autonomously I did watch the rocket launch last night it was bloody great and uh, really is Er, uh, heralding a new era of spacecraft, space flight. Let me just not completely destroy the spacecraft now. Come on, come on, nearly there. Anyway, going to do some work today. Um, yeah, just productive weekend. Not much news. An update on my plant growing situation. They're growing. I mean, I'll give it to you. I think they're just weeds, but uh, there, and there, and there, we have life. Uh, when my dad looked at this yesterday, he, he remarked to me that no matter where you are, no matter how hard the conditions are, how terrible the environment is, life always wants to find a way. Things want to grow on Earth. I'm thinking about, you know, the space launch and that that happened last night, uh, you know, sending uh, American astronauts and that to the International Space Station off American soil for the first time in 10 years. Uh, space is going to become a bigger and bigger part of our lives in the next couple of years, in the next couple of decades in my lifetime. And it's important to remember as well, like, where we come from. Something as small and as humble as little beginnings of life in, in the soil, and that have led to all the complexity and the uh, incredible technology of today. So, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Huzzah! I was just struggling with a with lighting up this port. Don't know what the problem was. I think one of my small connecting wires was wired wrong. It's just powering it directly now. Onward we go. First item for the day, get LED functioning on output port is correct. Hey, what's up? I'm in the pantry because uh, our EMK practical, our microprocessor practical, has been redesigned this semester to be done with as many home components as possible and with as little technical and complexity and expense as possible. So we're building a respiration detection system and I currently have to think of a system for how to detect breathing uh, without touching the skin of a human body because the eth university's ethical uh, clearance and ethical requirements allow you to, don't allow you to touch human skin in any experiments or things without ethical clearance. Um, which is a bit shitty, especially since it's myself that I'm testing on. So, I have to measure respiration, the in and out, uh, inhalation and exhalation of a human breath without touching the human skin. So, at the moment, my thinking is, uh, I have a push button here. And 
what I can do is when I breathe out, push the button some way so it generates a high signal and when I breathe in, uh, it'll release the button and it won't generate a signal anymore. That way I can detect a, respir a respiration cycle using this push button because I was trying to use a thermistor before which is like a temperature sensor with a hot, and hot breath of an exhalation and cold air of an inhalation but it wasn't sensitive enough. So, I have a peanut butter jar here which I've cleaned out and I've got the lid so I'm going to affix this push button onto the edge of this peanut butter um, container like this and then put it on my stomach like this because it's allowed to go over your shirt so I'm going to put it like this but just so that you can see it better I'm going to affix this to the button to the peanut butter container here and then when I breathe in and out it pushes the button so I'm about to uh, cold glue this bitch and hopefully this works Kyla is still here working in my room. I have moved in. This is now my office. How's the graft going? It's going well. I'm just doing quizzes because I have exams next week. Hector, good luck. Thank you. What's up? It's much later. Um, it's about midday now. I've been working on my prac the whole morning. Ah, after consulting with my friends on Discord, Chris and Jason then uh, gave me a good idea of how to represent floating point numbers in assembly because obviously we don't, there's no such thing as floating point numbers with hexadecimal codes in that. So by multiplying things by 10 you just have, you have then two registers per a big byte that you're trying to talk about uh, and basically it works out. So if you're trying to represent you know, the value you know, 3.75 you just times it by 100 so that you've got 375 and then you just compare your measurements in the hundreds instead of in the points which makes a lot of sense, right? That's how computers work. Um, and so I'm just busy doing that. I've busy got my good old calculator out. Uh, busy calculating binary to hexadecimal and decimal. Because I, I need I have different values that I have to compare between for however many breaths my system is detecting every second and every minute. And based on what those values are, I have to turn on a different amount of LEDs as like an uh, in indicator of how well the person's breathing. Hence the de detection part of the respiration detection system. So that's good, so I'm busy doing that. Maths, who said you wouldn't use it? Although I've granted it's just addition. Um, but all of computing is just addition anyway. We are out here running, talking politics. Again. Just before, again, it's before the sun goes down. Good run, five kilometers. What's up? It's Monday morning. I have my first semester test today, differential equations. Online, in person, so it's gonna be interesting. Um, by in person I mean by myself here at my desk. Feeling pretty confident for it and just busy going through some calculus for tomorrow's semester test. It's going to be good, feeling okay. Some, uh, end week is not too bad actually. The hard part is going to be this weekend when I have to do a practical and study for a theory test next Monday, which is going to be tough. But yeah, I'm just busy grafting. Time is also here, supposedly working. And yeah, all is good. I'll let you know how the test goes. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that I'm in the middle of an amplifiers class test and I'm fucking doomed. <laughs> so I just finished. It was okay. Uh, yeah. Amplifiers semester test 2. The hard instrumentation amplifiers question. Um, the KRC ladder question was alright. Good. I got my circuit right, I think. Um, and then the last question as well. I don't know, we had to simulate some stuff in LT Spice. The op amp they asked us to use, we didn't we didn't learn even have an LT Spice, so I did my best with my circuit. Um, so I, I know it's not completely right in that, because when I run it, uh, you know, shit does not, does not happen right. And also there was even a Python simulation question, which I was not expecting, so yo, that was a huge rush, but I managed to eh, plot my transfer function over one graph. So, Interesting, hey? Not a great test, but we'll see how it happens. There's also a, a Kyla here sitting, chilling, Hello. living the good life. I finished my exam and he was still busy, so I couldn't leave. You could have left. 
Hey, so I'm busy studying for my test tomorrow in my Amplifier Practical, but we just got the marks back for our um, second Amplifier Practical, and I got a solid, nice 45%. Fuck! I spent so many days working on this, and I thought I did really well. Like, looking at my uh, document here that I submitted, I thought I did a really good job and fulfilled all the criteria and that, and I was so far ahead of everyone else, and I really thought I'd done well, but lecturer and guys obviously disagree with 45 percent and it's like there's a few marks in in different places like i didn't get almost no marks for my eighth order cascade simulation so i'm gonna have to go do some research on that like why i didn't do so well there there's a chance to resubmit um to like get a second chance do some more graft on it and submit it again next week so i'll have to see how i'm doing with my um with my emk respiration detection system practical around about that time because that needs to get done more than this does and oh it's just it's not a good time it's bloody cold today um but i'm about to start my microprocessors coding test everything's set up here it's funny that we actually get told to look at our phones during tests nowadays um, just to see if the lecturer has posted anything in the group and that, but what's happening with the test as it goes on. But yeah, three and a half hours. Let's hit it. Things are a bit stressful about halfway through the test. See how it goes, but I'm um, doing okay. What's up? Good afternoon. It's like six, seven hours till this practical three is due. Busy grafting at it. Things are going alright. I've got my FFT transform over here for my oscillator circuits, just filling in some Excel values and that, and then uh, with the uploading and annotating different graphs and that for the minimum requirements of the practical. It's all good. We were working on multi vibrators and not the fun kind and oscillators for this practical, so learn some good stuff. Exam entrance is back on the cards for the subject because the marks for semester test 2 and semester test 1 came out today. Um, right, how ridiculous is that? But yeah, got 59 for semester test 2 at the moment and about 41 for semester test 1 so far. I'm still uploading some marks, so things are looking up. And let me get back to this. Ugh, it's so cold. This is the first time I've got shorts on in weeks. Ugh. It's a bit cold, but yeah, quick run. I'm literally running away from my problems right now. Running away from my computer and the EMK practical I should be doing and theory test tomorrow I should be preparing for. Need a quick bit of exercise to clear my head back to the graft. It's the last week of the semester, next week, and just gotta absolutely smash out some stuff. Get the exam entrance for everything, and life is good. Let's go. So because of my renewed interest in horticulture and aqua aquaculture, I just ran up to this little pond here, close to where I live, to see if I could find anything in the pond to put in my tank. But it's a pretty dead pond, actually. It's not as wild as I thought or remembered. There's mostly, uh, there's one or two big koi in here, but there's no small little plant life or little brushes or grass or anything on the edges that I can gather for my tank. So, disappointing. Back home. Back to work. <laughs> it's just nice to be doing something different and to be doing a different kind of hobby in, during quarantine at a time when all we seem to do is hear about COVID and be depressed. Hey, what's up? We just got the marks back for our uh, BSS group projects. They marked them incredibly strictly. Um, quite a few people didn't do as well as they expected, including me. We got 56% for the group project part, and I got 35% for the individual part. Uh, I went and looked at some of the common mistakes and in, in, in the feedback that the lecturers gave, and it was like, you know, if you, d during the, the work breakdown structure, if you left out your critical path, which is a small part of that thing, they just gave you zero out of three for the entire section straight away. So I missed out one or two important things like that and got zero for three sections and so I'm currently sitting on a 35% and a uh, non-competent for that part of the module so I've got to 
redo my whole part B and resend it by the 8th of July and then hopefully we still pass the module because the exam was written two days before that and so yeah and I have my uh, microprocessors theory test class test tomorrow which I need to do well in yeah it's not a good time to be a computer engineering student Good morning, busy working on my EMK prac, busy looking at my code and that, and I'm pretty sure I have a hardware error, because my code for my state machine looks to be perfect, and it, it's like it's reading in the values nicely, but it's triggering my uh, light setting routine too often, which means I'm pretty sure it's a switch debugging issue, which I'm busy trying to fix now, and just using my multimeter and that to test different voltages on different parts of the board and that. Um, Things are going alright, actually feeling kind of confident. Today is Sunday morning, and this is due on Thursday midnight. I've still got a report to do for it, but I can probably do that mostly in a day on Thursday. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and today. It's four full days. I'm pretty sure I can get this working, but uh, let me just carry on troubleshooting. The only problem with this is it's just troubleshooting, troubleshooting, troubleshooting. Three hours later, you might have three fewer lines of code than when you started, but finally something's working. Um, so it's not like the insane progress that I appreciate, but can't do anything about it. We, we carry on. Good morning. It's quarter past six, so the graph begins. It's still dark outside, but uh, time to get to work on this circuit. What's up? Out on a run before the sun goes down. I am being all consumed by my EMK microprocessor. It's practical right now, but it's going okay. And I think it's gonna, I might just pass at this rate. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> So what's groovy? I've got uh, just under 10 hours left to my deadline for this prac. The prac is working, like probably about like 90%, so that's good enough for me. It's good enough to pass and do all of the things, and it's looking really good. I'll make a detailed video about it, but just for the hammering of this report right now, it's currently at 3,566 words, which is really lacquer. I need to add in all my diagrams, pictures, um, screenshots, and that kind of, kind of stuff. Also need to make a short video on this shit. So yeah, let's carry on. And I am um, relaxing now because I finished my project. It's Saturday, by the way. Uh, yeah, I'll make a full video about it, but it's good. Got it in. The report's all done. It was a stressful time, but all finished. And yeah, thank you for watching these past few boring vlogs. I promise the next one will be more interesting. And yeah, catch you soon. Cheers.